Position your wire coils on the truck ready for restraining. Coils at the front and the back of the load must be cradled with the appropriate dunnage. Please ensure you wear appropriate personal protective equipment as per the site requirements. Attach the strap to the truck and pull the strap back approximately 1.5 metres away from the truck. Create a fold on the strap and with both sections together, roll a tight inward coil and continue to do so towards the truck. It is important to ensure the section of the strap attached to the truck remains on top when rolling. Feed the rolled strap section through the middle of the wire coil. Collect the end of the strap and roll onto itself in a coil towards the truck and throw directly over the wire coil. Moving to the opposite side of the wire coil, gather the strap loop inside and above the coil and position through the strap choker. Adjust the top strap to allow the strap to slide and reposition the strap choker in the middle of the coil, creating a figure eight. Feed the strap through the ratchet and tighten to secure. Continue this process for all other wire coils. Here we are demonstrating the correct and incorrect versions of coil cradling. On the left side is the correct version, which is cradled closer to the truck tray. On the right we have the incorrect version, cradled higher above the tray. All wire coil load ends must be cradled in a steel spreader. The acceptable width standard for a steel spreader is 615 to 640 millimetres. All steel cradles must include rubberized material underneath to prevent the load from slipping. Steel cradles house the chamfered timber dunnage boards, which measure 100 by 100 millimeters and 2.4 meters in length. All wire coils positioned directly on the tray must contain dunnage underneath. Suitable dunnage includes cardboard and plywood sheets or a rubberized mat. 